Welcome to part one, making you superhuman. We're gonna give you seven things. Here's the first thing. Scientific basis number one is a balanced glycemic response. Now this is just a little technical, but stay with me, you need to understand this. Low glycemic index or low glycemic load diets are independently associated with a risk of certain chronic diseases. That means you do everything else right, but you got the wrong glycemic index foods, you're gonna be at risk for disease. So you need to understand this. It's real simple. If you eat a food that has a high glycemic in index, it shoots into your bloodstream. Instead of going like this, when you eat food, your blood sugar, look what happens. It goes up real high. And if that food has a lot of carbs, then you have a high glycemic load besides an index, so you not only get it shooting up, you get it shooting up high for a long time. So we want lower glycemic index and lower glycemic load foods. The high ones, you can imagine, desserts, refined grains, soft drinks, processed foods, junk food, those are all high glycemic index. Now let me give you a little tip here. If you ever have to eat one of those things for some reason, you can blunt that spike in your blood sugar by eating some protein or some vegetables. So I'm not telling you to do that all the time, but once in a while, if you're gonna have a, some kind of junk, then eat some, some good things with it to blunt that response. The medium glycemic index, most root vegetables, whole grains, like brown rice, and then the low, the fruits, the vegetables, nuts and seeds, most dairy products in the low category. And that's where we want to be most of the time. Let me put these two together, glycemic index and load, and show you how it works. A baked potato, now that, would that be a good food to eat or a bad, class? All right, and that's bad mostly because high glycemic index, really high, almost like white sugar, and high glycemic load, that's a high load too. So it gets in there fast and there's a lot of it. On the other hand, if you take watermelon, it's got a high glycemic index. You know, watermelon's sweet, right? But look at the load. There's, what's watermelon mostly? Water. water, right. So it would be okay. And by the way, watermelon's very good this time of year. An apple, low glycemic index and a low load, but when you turn that apple into apple juice, you double the load. That's why I don't want you using fruit juices. And here's carrots, all right, a little higher glycemic index, but very low load, so carrots are okay. The majority of your food should be low glycemic index, and not just any low glycemic index. We want the healthy ones that are on the seven systems plan. And we're gonna put a small amount of uh, moderate like glycemic index foods, like a sweet potato. That would be a medium glycemic index food that is fine. Along this same path, I don't want you to turn to artificial sweeteners. No refined sugars, but stay away from the artificial sweeteners because of the damage they do to your gut bacteria, number one. If you're gonna use a sweetener, I like stevia, but again, it's not all you want. We gotta go easy with that. 